How you doing, my name is Peter Magic, and welcome. Let's talk about AI, AI for content generation, especially for the marketing side, uh, especially for B2B marketers. I am so excited about this topic. So I spent the last year, actually my brother-in-law, we were trying to spin up a company all about AI sales enablement. It's just a little early what we're trying to do. But wow, did I ever learn crap load about AI. So, you know, Jarvis, GTP3, OpenAI, some of the stuff you may hear about it or not. But wow, like, you know, a lot of people obviously in the B2B space and all that talk about AI, 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 blah, 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 artificial intelligence. But artificial intelligence is, it's going to be a game changer for a ton of things, right? Like it's, it's definitely not going away. It's not a fad. And wow, it's some pretty powerful and scary stuff. But specifically for this conversation, let's talk about how can it help content, right? Content creation. We heard a lot about OpenAI, GTP3, you can write books and that's great. Well, okay. So here's the reality. Here's how I look at AI. I look at AI as a child. <laughs> okay. It's good. I could think on its own, but like a child. So when my kid, my kids are all older now, but when they were younger, you know, you say, Hey, can you draw me an apple? You know, the kid comes back. He's like, here, daddy, I draw an apple. You're like, I can kind of see an apple in there. I mean, I wouldn't sell it as an apple, but I can kind of see there's an apple. That I think is the best way to explain AI for content generation. Now, so how do you use it? You know, Jarvis and, and uh, all the other one, how do you definitely use it? So I think the best way to kind of look at it is it can help, the, the fundamentally the best thing that I found is it can help you get the juices flowing. It can definitely help with different ideas, especially like subject lines or blog generation ideas. You know, it, a lot of the time, I certainly do this in my content, especially when I write or something, I'm just stuck in my old patterns. I like certain words. I like certain things in a certain sequence. I mean, we're, you know, humans are very pattern oriented. And I think that's where the power of AI, especially from a content perspective, if you give it something, it'll just give you, you know, it could like refresh, refresh, give me different variations of the same thing. And you're like, ooh, that's kind of cool. You know, cause like sometimes let's face it, in B2B content, like you're talking about the same thing a lot, right? We're putting a different spin on it. That's why like, you know, B2B marketers are like, what's new? What are we going to talk about? And all the, how do the stuff, you know, how do we educate our clients better? Like, how do we educate our clients who sometimes know more about our product than we do, <laughs> right? It's a tough, it's a tough thing. So you're looking for different ideas. And I think that's how AI right now is a super powerful way to be able to do that is just spark an idea and give you different things. So if you give it, you know, certain words and certain attributes or certain things around your target audience and give it some stuff. It's not going to spit out exactly what you want, but it sure will spit out a lot of different things that then you can work with to do so. When it comes to longer form content, like blog writing or something like that, I would use it as a jump start to get you to 60%, right? So get, you know, put in there. You'd be surprised like when you, you know, put some stuff in there, what it's going to spit out. Now, the thing is, the more focused you are, the more information you give it, the more accurate it's going to pop out to. And I think that's the real valuable of it, especially GTP3 and some of the new stuff that's coming out. I mean, when you look at the amount of data they're consuming, I, I don't even know how big those numbers are. It's just, it's just like a mind boggling. Everybody talks about these numbers, but it's like, you know, how big is the galaxy? You're like, yeah, it's big, 100,000 light years. Like, I have no idea what that is. There's just so much in there. So if you give it pretty good information, you kind of be a little more specific, it's gonna help you out better. If you're broad, it just doesn't know. So be more specific and know that what's gonna come out is like 60%. But sometimes, like, I don't know what you, when I kind of write blog content, or especially like how I prep for these, for these videos is I do think about the topics and I think about, Hey, talk to the audience. And then I write, you know, bullet points or something that I want to say along. And I typically write them out, but then I like to turn them into something else. And I think that's where you can say, Hey, here's the bullet points, give it to the AI and see what comes out of it. And then you can actually kind of massage it or give it to the scriptwriter to even tweak it a little bit more. So the whole idea is you're not starting from a blank sheet of paper, which is kind of the hardest thing, unless you write content or unless you create content on a regular basis, unless you've been doing it as part of your natural instincts, then creating content from scratch is a pain in the rear end. And I think that's really where AI is really starting to come in, that it can just help you jumpstart that, speed up that process, accelerate it, you know, show you different stuff. And for sure, sometimes it's gonna throw wacky stuff at it, but that's okay. You know, if you throw 50%, uh, you know, of the topics or some things out of it, the other 50% is actually pretty good. And you know what? It's only 
going to get better. But don't get stuck on testing it out and it's gonna create perfection. It's not there yet. That's why I said it's about a child kind of mentality, but definitely you can speed out your process. And that's really what WorkflowX.io is all about. You know, we kind of realize that so many marketers are kind of stressed out. There's so many more, you know, bigger targets they got to do, but their budgets and their employee count of their team is not necessarily accelerating at the same rate as their targets are. So being efficient and using technology and using uh, specifically human outsourced labor and using that very efficiently in a process scenario allows you to do that. And AI is one of those tools where you can use it to accelerate a certain step in the content creation process. Until next time, and you can see, I don't know if you watched the last video, I was wearing a blue shirt, see that? Now I'm wearing a red shirt, and my lights in the background are red. Okay, here's a trick. YouTubers do this all the time. The reason they put fancy lights in the background and things spinning, because so your mind, you're looking at me, it doesn't get bored. And the thing is, if it's in the background and just does its thing, I don't have to edit it. <laughs> So it makes it much more easier to not have to, I change his shirt, it's like, wow, look, he's wearing a different color shirt. It works for the engagement of the eye and you know, our little brains who kind of get distracted all the way. So there you go, there's a secret of how to make videos more engaging. Just get a bunch of awesome lights on Amazon and put them around your TV and flip the little thing and then match it to a shirt and you're, you're a rock star, that's it. All right, thanks so much, my name's Peter Matichek from WorkfulX.io. Highly recommend you Check it out if you are B2B marketer. Until next time, have a fantastic day. Cheers.